Hello, hello, and welcome to the Ultimate Tarot Guide Tutorials. These episodes are going to take a look at each tarot card, going over the correspondences for each card found in my book, The Ultimate Tarot Guide for Your Personal Tarot Journey. This book is available at Amazon in print and Kindle. This book takes you on an inspirational, magical journey into the realm of tarot. We're going to leave traditionalism and mediocrity behind. We're also going to open doors and expand horizons to reveal amazing connections with the tarot and its intimate influence on our world. As you make your way through this tarot study, you will develop a very unique and personal connection with the tarot and a deeper understanding of yourself. The deck I will be using throughout this tarot study guide is Vintage Tarot. I recommend that any deck you use be closely associated with the traditional Rider White deck with the major arcanas and suits found therein. So, with that said, grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. We're going to sit around the table and explore each tarot card. We're going to explore intuitive reading and we're going to learn how to tap into our intuitive side and listen to our clairs. And we'll pull more from a tarot card than you ever thought possible. With that said, off we go. Welcome to episode four. Our card for today is the King of Cups. As a quick overview, this card is connected astrologically to Pisces. His element is water. Keywords for this card are narcissistic, hedonistic, addictive, sexual, non-communicative, emotional, jealous, romantic, idealistic, lazy, indifferent, weak, sensitive, easily hurt, prideful, isolationist, dreamer, lover. <laughs> there you go. This card is our hedonist, of course, if you if you haven't already gotten the idea from, from all those keywords. So as I look at this card, of course, of the, of the kings, this is the most emotional. He will be the quickest to throw tantrums. He will be the quickest to declare love. He will, he will just be the quickest to dip into the emotional side of himself and just splash it all over the world and anyone near him. That's just his nature. Um, sometimes, um, as a negative side to this king, sometimes he lies to himself. Um, he tends to paint brighter pictures of a situation he's in, uh, brighter pictures of the idea of someone that he's with. He's very idealistic. Um, the thing is that real life doesn't always live up to that kind of idealism. So this king may go through several partners in a lifetime because he idealizes each one. And then as he gets to know them and the relationship progresses and he realizes, oh my, they're just human after all. And he starts to see faults. Um, that will just turn him off. And it's like he will spot someone else that he idealizes and puts on a pedestal and off he'll go towards the, towards the newfound uh, object of his affection. Um, to his benefit, he, he has a very soft heart. He also is very sensitive. His feelings can be hurt very easily. And most of the time, if this happens to him, the the main way that this king will deal with hurt feelings is to shut down. So communication will stop. He will never talk about what it is that's bothering him. And if he, he is a king in your life, you will wander around wondering, what did I do? What did I say? What's the matter? He will never communicate these issues with you. Sometimes his eccentricity and some of his rash choices will kind of leave him in an isolated state. You know what I think? Friends or family or acquaintances that they'll kind of step back at some of the some of the choices and decisions this king makes in life. It puts him in a very unusual and isolated position. That you would think would be a warning to him about how odd some of his choices or his actions are, but mm, nope, uh -uh, it goes right over his head. 
So now I'm going to look at this card. What do I see from this card? Oh, there's just, on this card, there's just water. He's floating. And um, the thing that he's floating on is in the waves, and it just appears very unstable to me, and that's kind of how I view this king emotionally, as unstable on so many levels. And um, let me see, what else? Well, he certainly, he has that cup in his right hand. His emotions um, and his choices and decisions are generally ruled by his heart, not his head. And that gets him into a lot of trouble in life when you make uh, decisions and choices um, with your heart and not your head. But that's just the nature of this king, and that is just how he rolls. So you guys get your tarot journals out there, and you take a look at this card, and you come up with some more interesting interesting um, ideas through your clairs. What you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you know. Explain to your, to your tarot journal. Write it down. Write that information down. What are you getting from this card? Well, I was very happy to introduce you to the King of Cups today. And with that said, until the next time and until the next video. Bye-bye.